tennis and golfer's elbow. Bony anatomy of the elbow, here you can see the radius, the ulna, and the humerus. Here you can see the lateral side of the elbow, the lateral epicondyle, give origin to the extensor muscle group, specifically the extensor carbioridialis previs. In this picture you see the bony anatomy, the ulna, the radius, and the humerus. And on the medial side of the elbow, you have the medial epicondyle, give origin to the flexor muscle group. Elbow problems occur where the tendon attached to the bone. At the outer side of the elbow, or the lateral elbow, we call it tennis elbow. At the medial side of the elbow, or inside of the elbow, we call it golfer's elbow. The problem occurs due to repetitive stress, which causes interstitial tearing, inflammation, and the swelling of the tendon. Tennis elbow, lateral epicondylitis, it occurs due to inflammation, soreness, and appear as pain on the lateral side outside of the elbow. There is degeneration of the extensor carbi radialis previs. Usually seen in patients who perform manual labor or sports which require twisting and the extension of the wrist against resistance. Differential diagnosis, radial tunnel syndrome. The pain of radial tunnel syndrome is very similar to tennis elbow pain. However, the location of the pain is distal to the lateral epicondyle and it radiates down the forearm. If the symptoms of the tennis elbow is not improving with treatment, rule out radial tunnel syndrome. Golfer's elbow, medial epicondylitis, inflammation, soreness or pain in the medial side, the inside of the elbow. The pain occurred due to overuse or overload activity which is aggravated by movement of the wrist. Ultrasound evaluation of tennis elbow. The elbow is placed into a semi-flex position with the hand pronated. Ultrasound is used to visualize and inject the tendon. The transducer is positioned parallel to the lateral epicondyle and the radial head. The radial head is identified. The bony cortex of the epicondyle is identified and it is usually very smooth. The origin of the tendon is identified. The tendon is usually smooth and homogeneous and has no Doppler flow. The affected tendon may show tears, calcifications or thickening. Here you can see a picture of tear in the tendon. Here the Doppler shows increased flow. Treatment of tennis elbow, usually rest and job modification and some non anti-inflammatory medications. We send the patient to physiotherapy for eccentric exercises. When that treatment doesn't work, we give the patient injection. It can be blind or ultrasound guided. You may want to start with blind injection first before the ultrasound guided. What do you inject? usually steroids, but it will provide short-term relief. PRP platelets with needle finisation is probably the best treatment, but it is expensive, it requires more than one injection, and uh, the doctors will have trouble in getting uh, the method assembled. Here you can see the blind injection. The site is marked and the skin is disinfected and the therapeutic fluid is injected into the selected marked site. Here is the technique of an ultrasound guided injection. You will identify the radial head and the tendon. Under ultrasound guided technique the needle is inserted and the needle uh, will go through the tendon into the bony area of the lateral epicondyle and a uh, of the tendon is usually done in conjunction with 
injection of the fluid, either steroids or uh, plasma-rich platelets. Surgery is the last resort and we use it when conservative treatment fails. It entails debridement of the involved tendon. Not every surgery is successful. Surgery is successful in about 85% of patients avoid injury to the lateral collateral ligament that can cause elbow instability. I think it's time that I gave up this game. Not only is my golf game painful, but now so is my elbow. I better call the doc and see what he can do for me. Hello, doc. I just played a horrible round of golf, and now my elbow really hurts. Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.